Hello, 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 my lovely friends. Um, thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. Today's pick a card, we are checking in and seeing how our person is thinking and feeling about your connection, um, how they're thinking and feeling about you, um, anything that's going on with them. Um, anyone who's been watching me for a while, you know, the messages sometimes come out a little off topic at times, but I always say them. But again, the focus of this reading is how is your person thinking and feeling about you, the viewer. Um, so we have three piles today. We have pile one, which is this lovely chunk of amethyst. Um, pile two, I have the selenite, little bar wand, whatever you want to call it. And then pile three, I have, um, it's called a couple different things. It's opalite or angelite, a little cool. Trying to get that to show up a little better. It's really pretty. It's very pearlescent, opalescent kind of look to it. Um, so take a moment and kind of focus in. If you need to pause the video, do so. Some people pick by the timestamp numbers, which are in the description box below. Um, so yeah, just take a moment, go with whichever pile you're drawn to first. If you're drawn to more than one, you may have messages in um, more than one pile. Always, always remember this is a general reading. Not every single thing is gonna fit for every single person. You know, sometimes that does happen, but um, just know if it doesn't feel right or doesn't sit right in you, don't get super upset. It, it might not be true for your situation. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and just know that you had some messages within there that you needed to hear. Um, again, we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. The timestamps will be in the description box below, and I will see you at your pile. Thanks, guys. Hello, my lovely friends for pile one. You guys pick this lovely chunk of amethyst. It doesn't really show up as beautiful as this thing is. Like the purple, I guess on my black background doesn't show up as well, but it's it's one of my favorites. I love amethyst, I always have. Um, so I'm assuming maybe you guys too, too, if you guys tuned into this pile. So today we are going over how your person is thinking and feeling about you, about the connection, anything that might be going on in their life. Lots of different things pop up. You guys know I always say whatever messages come through because um, it's always for someone that needs to hear it. But overall, um, we are focusing on how we are thinking and feeling about you. So pile one, how is the person thinking and feeling, please? them about this connection. Woo. Ten of Swords wanted to come out there. That wanted to come out. That flipped itself over. That's kind of nice. <laughs> I love when that happens. I don't know if you guys saw that. The star would have came out in reverse, but it spun itself. So I'm always a little amazed sometimes at these cards. I do love when they pop out, but I also get you know called to just pull certain ones. So we just go as it goes. Woo. All right, those both want to come out. We have the world, and then we have a king of pentacles right off the bat. All right, let me make sure those are in shot. And you guys know I just pull cards to kind of get an overview, and then I'll go into all of them. Let's keep going. Let's clarify this first row. And then six of pentacles. Or the Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups in Reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. Overall, guys, this is a really good spread. Gosh, it's really dark in here. Um, okay. So the, the biggest thing that I'm hearing right off the bat is there's hope for grounding in this relationship. So if you guys are in a newer relationship, I feel like you guys will be grounding going to the next level. If this is um, a situation where you guys aren't in communication, I think this person has a lot of hope for your guys' future, like the future of this relationship. Um, you know, like we do have, in this top row we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, which is really good. So the Ten of Swords is about feeling stabbed in the back, you know, pains, 
anxiety, things like that. Um, but it is a number 10 card, so it's a completion card. So with it being in reverse, it's like this person's letting go of past pains. Um, also, I feel like that could be a little bit of the viewer too. You guys might be um, reflecting each other a little bit there, like letting things go, letting past hurts go, um, just, just letting grievances go. And, and, and moving into this sense of hope and wonderment and like wishing on a star and wanting things to be differently. And for some of you guys, I'm hearing like this person, like if you guys aren't in communication or you're like, you, maybe you guys just got back into communication, it might be slow going. Like it's like you're, there's that saying like you're, you know, put your tiptoe into something or putting your toe in the water to test it out. And that's kind of what she's doing in this card. I've never really noticed that before. It's like, she's like, towing with the idea of of moving forward and um with the hope like letting the hope kind of rise up within um within them so that's kind of how i'm feeling then we also have another completion car card so the world is like completing of a cycle it has lots of meanings um one of them is you know it's it's a completion of a cycle but it's also like whenever I get this card in like a love reading, I feel like it's like they still see you as their world. Like you mean so much to them. Um, yeah, they wanna, you know, and there's a sense of like wanting to do things with you. Like they wanna move forward and, and travel the world with you. We have a King of Pentacles, which is also like someone that's feeling very secure in their standings. Um, maybe some things are shifting better for them financially, but just overall, I feel like they're becoming a more grounded, stable person. Pentacles is a very slow energy, so do keep that in mind if you guys are in separation. If they are making this shift, um, it might still be a little slow coming. They might be slow to fully convey their feelings and their thoughts, um, but they're feeling more grounded and feel like they have a better understanding. We have the Six of Pentacles here, which is clarifying your Ten of Swords, which is about wanting to be more fair. Like if there was a lot of unfairness going on before or currently, this person really like, they realize that maybe they are the ones that caused you a lot of pain and, and they're like realizing how unfair they were. So it's like wanting to be more generous, wanting to be more like an equal give and take of energy. Um, it's like they're realizing that like how badly that they treated you. Um, we'll move into our, our four of pentacles here, which is about, can be, you know, represent someone that's kind of being a little greedy in their material world, but also can just represent foundations and, and beings feeling more sturdy. So with that, like clarifying our, our star card here, it kind of just feels like this person is just, um, I'm hearing like they're they're starting to believe more and, and grounding their hope and, and maybe this is a little bit of you too maybe you guys have had this shift in communication where things have been a, a little bit more of an even give and take and you're starting to like allow yourself to have hope um in this connection our six of cups here being in reverse it's still like they're not ready to fully you know, like this is like a very nostalgic reunion style card. This is a soul level um, card. With it being in reverse, I kind of just feel like even though they've they've kind of completed this cycle of whatever they were in, they're still not completely ready to like jump back in with their full emotion because these cups always represent people's emotions. And so again, I feel like they're still like it's like they might have hope, but they're still just toying with the idea. I don't know, I've never noticed that before, but it's like, I feel like, again, this person is being very slow, but just toying with the idea of the possibility of this. So they're not fully ready to jump back into the reunion just yet. Um, I just realized that these little boys on this card look like twins. Um, anyways, um, but it being in reverse, it's just like they're not completely ready to rekindle just yet because they're still focusing on balancing everything in their life. I'm balancing you, balancing their life, and figuring this all out. But overall, guys, this is a really, really lovely spread, lovely energies. Um, just kind of, I feel like this person's just feeling more secure and grounded in their life in general. And then when it comes to you, again, there's this beautiful sense of hope 
for what the future could look like, how grounded that future could be, but they also realize like where they need to step up. I'm not sure, again, they're not just ready, just this yet, to, to step into where they need to be, um, but they are recognizing that, you know, they haven't been. Um, the same can, you know, this can be very fluid for people in communication, not in communication, like minimal, and in a relationship. Like, I feel like everyone should, this, this pretty much relates to a lot of different scenarios but just this person's feeling a little more grounded, seeing a little more clearly. Um, if you're in a if you're in a relationship and they haven't been completely open with their feelings, I still think they're holding back a little bit on, on, on expressing that kind of thing. And they're just focused a little more. We have a lot of pinnacle energy here. I just realized that. So a lot, we could have a lot of earth signs here as well. Um, a lot of grounding energy. So this person is this person that likes to feel secure and feel safe. And so with that, that's what makes the move so slow. Pinnacle energy is very slow measured, um, slower energy. So this person's a little more cautious than maybe other people you've known in your past and they're just weighing out everything, trying to figure everything out. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, um, let me get some romance angel cards so we can get some more information. You know, I kind of just described what was going on with them, but again, for you, um, anytime I get the world card, it's like I they see you as this beautiful person, the, the world to them. You you mean a lot to this person, um, even if they don't tell you, if they don't share how much you mean to them, and they keep that to themselves, you still mean a lot to them. Um, and they, again, they have a lot of hope that this can, can manifest into something more. So let's see what else we get. What else can we know about Pile One's person, please? Oop. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Sometimes that's a message for the viewer, just to remind yourself to always love yourself first. Don't instantly, like if you are getting back in communication with this person, don't drop everything for them right away. I know that you want to because you want them, but just a little note to love yourself first. This person also could just be working on their own self-love, their own self-respect. Um, they're just learning to love themselves a little bit more too. And then we have romantic feelings. So if you're wondering, you know, do they feel romantically towards, towards you? Yes, they do. They definitely have romantic feelings for you. Um, I'm hearing they miss, uh, we both have like kissing in these cards, like, and the angels are watching. So it's almost like this is a divinely guided kind of connection. And this person is really missing kissing you. Um, even if you're together or not together, like I feel like they, they think a lot about like embracing you and kissing you. And we have a lot of blue in these cards, like they're wearing, they're wearing blue, which represents like your throat chakra. Um, which can be like either they they want to tell you their truth or I'm getting a little blocked as I'm trying to say this. So it's like they're, I think this person's afraid to share like romantically again, or afraid to share how they really feel about you. They're very, very controlled and measured. Um, so yeah, there's like, a, there's a, there's a little bit of fear when it comes to being truthful with, with their feelings. Um, they might also come across a little selfish. I feel like this person might have, might be a little, not not selfish, self-centered, but puts, them, puts themselves first a little bit. So I'm also being guided to maybe, you know, follow their lead a little bit. Um, not in a mean way, but just always make sure you're, you're like, stop and ask yourself, what am I doing what's best for me first um, in this connection? So um, where am I getting guided next? Let's do some of my favorites. Let's do some of our White Rose Guidance love messages. I know everybody loves these. I love these. Um, let's see what is on their person. How does our person's, like if they could say what they wanted to say on their heart of hearts to you, what what are they feeling about you in this connection? Their heart of hearts, please. I see eternity in your eyes. So again, it's like that, that wishful, like they, they can see a future with you guys. Like you are their world. You complete them. Um, whoops. I'll take this top one, but too many popped out. It says you turn loose heaven in me. You turn loose heaven in me. Like 
how beautiful is that this is just like a feeling like a very just secure stable mature kind of connection um, it's really beautiful guys don't think I don't care about you because I really do again I think this person is very measured very grounded with what they actually share um, so they're just reminding you that don't think that don't take that as I'm not caring they really do care your picture brings me to tears. So if you guys are in separation, anytime I see this, I feel like this person looks at your social media or old pictures of you guys, and, and it does bring a tear to their eye. Um, I'm almost hearing happy tears for some reason. Like, And for some of you guys, someone sees a picture of you and thinks about a funny experience that made them laugh so hard they almost cried. That message just popped through for us. So that's for somebody. Um, like. I don't know if you have like a really funny picture on your social media and for some reason when they see that they think about that memory and it makes them laugh again and almost like brings them to tears. So let's see what else do we have. I am lost in the ocean that is you. So it's like again I keep going back to this card guys um, but this card is feeling like the defining card for this this spread when I pulled it out like like they were ringing hope, 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 hope. There's so much hope here. But it's like they're lost in the ocean that is you. But again, they're just barely sticking their toe. Even though they recognize that you are the whole ocean, it's like they're not just ready to fully, not that you're not deserving. They're just figuring it out. They're they're being measured. They're being who they are. And so that's, that's another thing we have to understand. Like everybody's kind of messy. Everybody's looking at life through their own perspective and so we can't always take all that so personally so you have to also like look at like am i just through my level of perception am i perceiving their actions as really mean are they being like intentionally cruel or are they just kind of doing what they do because that's how they do things um because this person does you know care a lot about you they see a lot of potential within you and in this connection again they're just more measured so just try to take a step back and not take that so completely personal like really look at what they've said and done and be like is that really like a mean thing against me or is it just really just how this person is um it's just like a message that i feel like some of you guys have been guided to say that just that you need to have like a, a fresh set of eyes on this um, take a step back and be like this isn't really personal like this person hasn't really tried to hurt me they're just being who they are and that's okay and if you really love people if you can love someone unconditionally for who they are and I'm no way saying that it's okay for people to treat you badly because that's not okay but again really look at this person's motivations and if they're not being like really mean to you but you've taken that way just try to pull that off the table and just see if this is just how they process things on their end um, I pulled these, I did these cards last time and I think everybody kind of liked them and I have some fun saying I need to make some more, but let's see what comes out. I want to do one last card for pile one, please. What's something that this person would want to say? My heart, this one. Nope. <laughs> this one's a fun one. You are my favorite notification. <laughs> I like that. So it just reminds me like if like say you like text them or you know whatever that's just kind of I'm thinking text like when they see it pop up it's like you're their favorite notification. So guys like you know this person does think very fondly of you. They're they're just a very measured person and they're going slow. So you can take with that what you want but um, again hopefully this helps you just have a better understanding but this person definitely still really does have a lot of feelings for you and care. They're just they're being very measured. So thank you guys again. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. As always, you guys are amazing. All the comments and love and likes and shares is just, you guys honor me daily and I really appreciate that. So thank you guys for being you and I will see you in a future reading. Hello, my lovely friends for pile two. You guys picked the selenite wand thing. Selenite's really, really great. So it's pretty cheap. You should get some if you don't have any. It's a lot of good uses. Look it up, Pinterest it, whatever. 
So we are going over how is your person thinking and feeling about you, what's going on in the connection, what's going on with them. You guys know like we try to focus on just that, but lots of things come up. Hopefully you guys appreciate having a better understanding of where what's going on in their life. But I ultimately want to know how our person or your person is thinking and feeling about you. So let's see where we're going with this. For pile two's person, how are they thinking and feeling about this connection, please? About the viewer. Hope everybody's doing really well. We have the lovers, okay. We have the sun, hello. Well, this is starting off nicely. Um, this person they can't feel about this connection. Way too many cards. Put those back in. If they're meant to come out, they'll come out. So we have the Hierophant. Jeez Louise, okay. Sorry, still too many. I'm being told to shuffle. The deck is not. The rest of the deck is in the right position. Okay, and spin it. Sorry, I'm taking these. All right, we have a nine of wands. We have a six of swords in reverse. We have a five of wands. We have a knight of swords and a three of wands. Bottom of the deck, we're going to show that today. I don't always do that, but being told to do that. So we have a seven of swords in on the bottom of the deck. So right off the bat, you know, there is a very strong connection here. They do have a lot of love for you. Anytime the lovers pops up, it's kind of like a soul level connection for me. Um, this person is meant to be in your life. You know, possibly a soulmate, possibly just someone to learn a lesson from. Um, so keep that in your back pocket. This is a, there, there is a meaning to this connection that's more than just, you know, a random person that you meet. Um, so again, I'm always guided to tell people that, you know, never mind. They're telling me not to say that. Okay, just kidding, because it, it left my brain. Anyways, keep going with this. They said, keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> Anyways, we have the lovers here. We have the sun. The sun is like the best card in the whole deck or the happiest, most positive card. So when I see this, the sun, it always just reminds me. And this is like the feeling that you give them. It's like, and I, and I know I say this in a lot of my readings. It's like when you're in a cold room and you walk outside for the first time, the sun hits your face. It's just that not in a blinding way, but in like a beautiful warmth way. Like when you're really cold and you walk into the sun and it just warms you to the core, that's how you make them feel. You feel like a warm home to them. Um, so that's that's a very beautiful feeling for them to have about you. Um, we have the Hierophant here. So I get like the feeling, um, the Hierophant means lots of different things. This person either is growing spiritually and stepping in and, and, and understanding some truths about spirituality, spirit, spirituality. Um, this person is also possibly, um, you know, in the middle of like schooling or trying to learn, like do a high level of learning. Um, sometimes when this comes up, I also feel like your person, like for some, again, Remember, this is a general reading, so lots of people tune into these, so I get lots of different messages and energies. However, so for some of you, you the person you're viewing about is someone that is married also, potentially. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, there's a couple different scenarios that are like popping through for this, but overall, I feel like this person is is learning more about like hearing learning more about source, about God, have a better understanding. I think you as a viewer maybe have um, taught them that. But when it comes to that, this person is still feeling a little defensive. They have their walls up. This is a very guarded person. Um, okay. Sorry. There's this old song from the nineties and, um, I cannot think who sings it, but it just started playing in my head. So I'm just going to have to say, it's like, you're still my sunshine. Okay. I can't sing, but, um, Hopefully that makes sense. Why can't I think who, who sings that song? It's like, you're still my sunshine. Dun, 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 Anyways, I can think of the thing. Um, 
but that song just started playing like 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 you're still their sunshine even though they're like guarded and have all this stuff going on if this person is married it's like you're still their sunshine if they are very busy at work or higher learning and stuff you're still their sunshine if they're very guarded with their heart you're still their sunshine i don't know that's <laughs> gosh i can't believe i tried to sing to you guys anyways i'm not a singer so okay um <laughs> We have the Six of Swords in reverse clarifying the Lovers card. Um, so the Six of Swords typically is like, you know, about moving into um, calmer waters. With it being reversed, I feel like this connection still causes them a lot of chaos. A lot of like, again, if this person is in a situation, again, sometimes it's also just represents a situation that they can't get out of or they can't fully move into this relationship because of a situation, this person, it makes them feel chaotic. As much as they care and have this weird attachment to you that they can't fully process, but they know how warm you make them feel, um, it's, it's feeling very chaotic to them. But there is a level with our five of wands here of them not wanting to fight the this connection anymore. And they wanna actually communicate with you. If they're not, if you guys aren't in communication, this person is thinking about, you know, coming towards and how to communicate. But again, there's like, this is like clarifying this like if they haven't there if they if you guys do talk and they haven't spoken their truth to you um it's because there's some situation where they just can't be fully open but there there is this like want to communicate and then we move into our three of wands which is a lot about planning thinking about the future daydreaming longing it's always like i hear longing is what pops in my head when when I hear this, so there's a sense of longing for you. There's a sense of longing of letting their guard down. There's a sense of no longer like wanting to be stuck in this situation. Like they long to, for things to be different. Um, they long to have this lover's connection with you, this, this beautiful, lovely relationship with you. Um, cause you are their son, like the sun, like the world, like we, we need the sun to live. Right. Then I I was guided to pull the bottom of the deck. I never do this. I want to start doing it more. I love that when other readers do it, and I always forget. But it just it, I was guided to do this, which are seven of swords. So I feel like this person has been sneaky, but this also represents strategic. So someone who's being strategic with their thoughts and their communication. Again, if they're in a situation where they can't fully be open with you, they can't communicate with you because of some situation that's holding them from openly communicating with you, from charging in and telling you how they feel. It's like I feel like they're trying to find a workaround to really tell you that you are their son, that you're still their sunshine, and, and to please don't forget this. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see if any other messages come through. I wish I knew, I, I know some of the words to that song. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I wish I remember who sang it. I probably should look that up. I might have to at the end of this. It's still bugging me. Um, I can picture this silly video too, and it's like these like teenager type people in cars. I, I wanna say it was a Canadian band. Um, okay, so this popped out. Keep an open mind. You are your soulmate may differ than your usual type or expectation. Again, we have a soulmate card here. So if this is someone that you like know and you're not too sure about this, you know, like could this really be like one of my soulmates? Be like, yes, just keep an open mind about this. Um, an open mind about what this person is going through is also what I'm being told. Um, they do like to flirt with you. Um, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I'm being guided just to say keep this connection playful for now that might be all they can offer even though you are their son there is a deep connection here they might only be able to keep this surface level I'm gonna move this over here um, I'm gonna pull one more of these engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so this person does want to I mean, this doesn't always mean like they're going to ask you to marry them tomorrow, but hey, it could, it could. Um, <laughs> but they, they, they want it. They want to have a certain, like a more, uh, solid connection with you. They want to make this, they want to bring this connection to the next level. Um, being guided to 
pull some different cards. Um, I'm gonna use a Love Compass Oracle. I don't know. Sometimes these decks just stare at me like, hey, I got something to say, so I go with them. Let's see what wants to come out for pile two, please. What is it that we need to know? Oh, soulmate. <laughs> you know, soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. So this is a soulmate level connection. There's a lot of different labels. Call it what you want to call it, but it says this person is a soulmate or this is someone new coming into your reality that you have a spiritual connection with. This is this person is meant to be part of your path. This may pertain to a soul group coming together. But so I always have to like tell people like you can have multiple soulmates. So um, but just know that there is a soul lesson here. There is a soul connection here. Um, so if you're still trying to make sense of this relationship or maybe you guys are in a bad spot and you're watching this trying to figure out what's going on, you felt like they've been sneaky, you're like, why is this person in my life? Why am I going through this? Start trying to figure out what the lesson is because this person was here to teach you something that just came up too because the Hierophant can also um, represent higher learning and teaching. So this person might be here to teach you a very valuable lesson in your life. So keep that in mind that your soulmate might differ because they're here to teach you something and maybe it's a hard lesson maybe you're going through a hard point they you know um just know that it all does serve a purpose i know that's hard to accept sometimes when you're in the middle of pain okay that's the only message i was supposed to pull from that so but i'm just that message is for somebody just to really open your eyes to the lesson that you're you're being taught here and not be so guarded about it um Okay, I want to pull some of these. Actually, I want to do my newer deck from the White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages. You guys know I love these. I know you guys love them too. So let's see, what does a person have on their heart? What would the person say if they didn't have anything holding them back? What do they want to say? How do I get you alone? So this person is thinking about having some alone time with you. Let's see what else. You are my favorite work of art. Again, you're you're their son. You're still my sunshine. Gosh, I need it. I have to look that up. I'm gonna have to. I find you in music. So maybe that song means something to somebody watching. Um, I want to be there for you and take care of you. This person really does care, guys. If they don't show it, I'm sorry, but they they do still really care. But there's a level of like this is playing out as it should because there's lessons that need to be learned on both ends because you guys had the soul contract before you came into this life um, to really learn these lessons. So, so we meet again, my dear friend, through space and across time. So again, like there's, when you guys have a soul level connection with someone or they're part of your soul group, you've reincarnated with them for several lifetimes. Um, if you felt instantly connected to this person when you met them in a way you didn't understand, um, and this might have been like at a music function or art show, because music and art are popping out in my head, um, as like some creative endeavor, possibly you met them through. Um, but you, you've, you've known them for lifetimes. I wish I could hold you tonight. So yeah, this person really wants alone time with you. They miss you, they, they wanna be with you. Um, they find you in music, um, and I feel like you do too. Um, you're the only person in the world who really scares me. <laughs> so they're, they're a little frightened by this connection. Um, I have to look this, this song up for you guys real quick because it's just gonna bother me if I don't. Sorry, I don't have my headphones in today. I, I forgot them. So hopefully you guys can hear me all right. All right, you're still my sunshine. It's a song by this band called Len, L-E-N. Um, right, is that right? Yeah. Should I play it for you guys? Are you guys gonna think I'm really nerdy? Let me find it real quick. All right, this is taking too long, sorry. You guys are like, drop off, all right. Still my sunshine. Oh, this is steel. Like you're stealing their sunshine. That's interesting. I always thought you're still my sunshine. I have to play it for a second. I want to. Trying to find the. This song. <laughs> Hey, 
So I suggest you guys look at the words for that song. It's st I thought it was S T I L L, but it's like steal, like you stole their sunshine. So you stole my sunshine. So I don't know. Maybe there's a message in there for some of you guys with that. Let me turn my shocker music back down. I do want to pull one more. Hopefully you guys are still <laughs> sitting here um, listening to me being me. <laughs> But let's pull one more little message, one more little quote that I like. All right, let's see. Oop, I think that one wants to float out. You are the sweetest feeling I know. So that's really sweet. Again, like, they, you're just so sweet to them. So they really do care a lot. This person really likes you. There is a deep level connection here. So um, I hope that helped. I hope that resonated. I hope that you guys don't think I'm too crazy um, for that song thing that doesn't happen so very often, but I'm sure it was relevant to somebody. So whoever needed to hear that out there, that was for you. Um, all right, guys. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys in a future reading. I adore all of you guys so much. Hello, 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 my lovely friends from Pile 3. Um, you guys pick this, uh, it's, some people call it angelite or it's called opalite. It's a really pretty stone. Um, I think it's also called sea opal. Um, there's lots of names for it. That might not be angelite, now I'm feeling bad. I think it just might be opalite or sea opal. Sorry. Anyway, so we are going over what your person is thinking and feeling about you, what's going on in the connection. Um, I have to shake off pile two. It's kind of funny. <laughs> pile, not in a bad way. <laughs> Just interesting. So, um, but the, the focus of this reading is how is your person thinking and feeling about you? As you guys know that watch my readings, lots of different things pop up. I say whatever comes out because someone always needs that message. So sometimes my spirits take me a little off point with what's just going on with this person. But overall, we want to know how they're thinking and feeling about you. I'm using the Chrysalis Tarot. I love this deck. There's so much beautiful imagery that it, so many messages come through from this deck and I and really enjoy it immensely so I always have my decks listed in my description box with links if you are interested in picking um, a deck up that I use all right so how is pile three's person thinking feeling about them we have the ace of wands in reverse we have the magician which in this deck is called the ravens <sighs> we have the two of stone which is the two of pentacles we have the Page of Scrolls, which is the Page of Swords, Communication. We have a Two of Wands in Reverse. We have the Wheel in Reverse. We have the Ace of Swords in Reverse. And the Queen of Cups, the Watcher, Upright. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like this person has taken a step back um, in your guys' relationship or this there's a sense of like with this ace of wands here for some reason I'm feeling like they have this major torch for you <laughs> um, but they've pulled back like they haven't expressed that to you or they they've taken it back um, or you know if you guys are still in communication there's been like a sense of like the fire of this connection has been like held back on their end even though like and what I'm feeling and the reason why is this person is really focusing on themselves focusing on with the magician here they it's like they want to find um, they're trying to find their confidence again they're trying to feed into themselves um, but they still see you in this card we have um, this eye on this tree and it really stands out to me and we also have the crows Looks like they're eating some eyes or eating something. But the crows, you know, are, are like, help you co-create. Like, they're, like, kind of like this magical bird that can go in between here and, and the heavens. And, sorry. Um, 
I feel like this per I'm oh okay so I'm just hearing this person watches you like the three-eyed raven from um, Game of Thrones just popped really heavily in my head like this person is watching you from a distance if you guys aren't in communication and this person's pulled back they're still watching you they're just trying to find their own level ground again and that kind of makes sense with this um, two of Pentacles coming in it's like this person is just focused in on balancing everything out um, balancing like I feel like maybe you guys got really caught up in each other in the beginning of this and they've pulled back um, and again this doesn't mean like there's lots of different scenarios that come up for this so again this is a general reading but um, even if you guys are in communication I feel like this person is like pulled back a little bit and because they're trying to find like they, they lost their head a little bit and so they're trying to find their balance in all of this again but with this page of scrolls which is our page of um, swords which is like our messenger of communication um, I feel like if they haven't spoken to you for a while like I'm looking at this card and this person looks like they've been a little bit of a journey they're carrying a lot of baggage they've been going through the world so if this person has not spoken to you in a long time they're really considering reaching out to you like they've, they've done their travels they've done their work they've they've been on their mission and then they want to communicate with you um so that's just for some of you guys even though this person's still figuring this out there's a level of them wanting to communicate with you and it's clarified um i know i'm jumping ahead a little bit but it's clarified by the queen of cups so it's either like they want to communicate some of the love they have for you or communicate like how beautiful they see you and it's very interesting in this deck this this card is called the watcher and we have an owl here which is wisdom and this older woman here and it's like I see they they see you as this wise person that is connected so deeply into your emotions into um, into you're just a very intuitive person and with them almost being represented like a page they don't feel even though they're working on it like this, this page has been doing some work it's been traveling been learning been transforming with this butterfly here but they're just not quite at your level and so it makes them feel a little insecure um we'll jump over here to this two of spirals which is also you know clarifying our, our ace of wands so we have a two of wands in reverse clarifying an ace of wands in reverse so it's like they're still just trying to figure out how to move forward in this connection. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, it's like they're they're trying to weigh out their options, which is a little more two of pentacles, but something about like there's two nests here, right, in this card, and they're trying to figure it out. Um, we have our wheel of fortune here it's in reverse so I typically read that as there's been a like a, a turn of bad luck for your person some things didn't go their way and um, it didn't completely shake them but maybe it's they've had to pull back their energies from outside anything they were putting outside and focus on themselves because they could only handle so much at one time we have our ace of um, wand our ace of swords here which is also in reverse no, it's like they want to communicate with you but they just don't know what to say they're still figuring it out but they they recognize like you're I feel like they don't want to sound stupid to you that's coming across really strongly they don't feel like they're quite at your level of communication your emotional um, I feel like those that are watching for this pile you guys have this like really beautiful emotional maturity about yourself that they're not quite there so they they don't always have the words or they don't want to come across stupid um is what i'm feeling let me get some clarifiers for this i forgot to pull out my favorite little white sage tarot i love these little cards i love them for clarifying so let's see let's get some clarifiers for what's going on for you guys for pile three me get more messages out okay we have seven of swords in reverse the hermit in reverse page of wands in reverse the king of pentacles yeah i'm hearing they want to be your king they want to be at your level and they're working on that so this person if they've been like sneaky in the past or they didn't I'm sorry I'm trying to figure out this message and how I need to say this um, I 
Okay. This is for some of you guys, so don't shoot the messenger. Um, I feel like some of you guys, this person may have been involved with several people. Um, maybe they, maybe you guys had a more of a casual relationship and like they were seeing other people on the side or more of a little bit of a player um, and they kind of were sneaky about that. I feel like you may have figured that out and they're just realizing that's not the way they want to be anymore. Um, again, that's just for some of you guys will relate to that message. Um, but yeah, I'm just seeing this person was like a very player energy, maybe sleeping around with a lot of people or just being putting their energy into a lot of people. Um, but it's like they're realizing the error of their ways. They must have been like in this level of being quiet and going within and figuring things out, but they're moving out of that. So it's like they want to move out of that and like our page of wands being reversed. I'm hearing they don't want to be the player anymore. They don't want to stick their wand everywhere. <laughs> that, sorry, that's the message I was trying to like, was being conveyed to me and I don't know how to say that in a non-graphic kind of way. Um, you guys know I keep it a little clean, but I'm just hearing they don't want to be the player anymore. They want to be the king. They want to be grounded. They want to be secure. They they know you deserve that. And if they weren't giving that to you, they're still figuring it out. But you deserve, I mean, you're the queen. You're this wise, you're not old. <laughs> you're just this wise, amazing person that's so secure. You have so much on them and they want to be the king for you. They want to be grounded for you because they know that you deserve that. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like this player, this person was a player in the past. Maybe they're seeing the error of their ways here with the magician. Um, and this maybe the stroke of bad luck has kind of caused them to really open their eyes and see, hearing like, I've seen what I've done. So we have two cards that popped out. We have worth waiting for, divine timing is in work at your, in your love life, and let your friends help. So what I'm hearing is like, if you are in communication with this person, maybe just approach it from a friend standpoint for now. Um, and you know, they see that you're worth waiting for, and, and the angels are saying, this is worth waiting for. But again, I'm never going to tell somebody to wait around for somebody that you don't want to wait for. If things are supposed to work out, they will work out. So just do you, but just know like if you want to hold place as space for them in your heart, you can, but also just maybe just approach them like a friend, like, you know, take whatever you label this connection and just say, you know, this person is like, I'm going to view them as a friend and not take things so personal. This person's still figuring it out, but I think they want to be your king. They want to be grounded. They want to move out of this like player, just being sneaky energy. Um, and again, I think they've had some, some things happen like, you know, this wheel of fortune like shifted and some bad things happened and made them realize that they, they haven't been living life to the fullest. Um, they're still not at your level, but they want to be. I'm being guided to pull one more of these and then we'll keep going. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So again, I feel like this person wasn't being fully honest with you. Um, maybe they're still not completely there, but they, they want to change. They want to move out of the seven of swords, sneaky energy and, and be the person that you need to be, be the king to your queen. Again, re reverse the roles and genders, um, as needed. Um, I try not to, to be any certain way. Um, so, all right, I want to pull, being guided to pull a love compass oracle for you guys. Um, let's see, what else can, information can we get for pile three? This one's coming out. This one came out for pile two. This is so weird. This I didn't pull one for pile one, but pile two and pile three, this deck glared at me, because that's how they do, they glare at me. Um, and soulmate popped out. So it's it's like this person is a soulmate or someone new coming into your reality that you have a spiritual connection with. So this person is meant to be part of your path. You're meant to be part of their path. You're here to help each other learn. So soulmates are, you know, we have the divine timing, divine connection here. Um, just if you need to, for now, look at the lesson that, that you're learning from this person. Like you're supposed to grow as a person because of this connection, as are they. And sometimes, you know, 
the lesson is more for them than for you. Like if you're already at a higher level, then maybe like all this is to help them learn a lesson. So take what you want with that information, but just kind of have an understanding that you guys do have a soul level connection here, but there's, it's it, right now it might be, instead of being romantic, it might be more of the lessons that you need to learn from each other. Um, I do want to get some white rose guidance, divine love messages, because I always like to know what's in their heart of hearts and how they feel. It's, it's nice to know this one wants to pop out. Give me more time. I'm not good enough for you yet. Yeah, they're still working on themselves. Um, I worship your perfection. Yeah, you are, they see you as so high compared to them. They're the page to your queen, but they want to be the king. Don't think I don't care about you, because I really do. So this person really still cares a lot about you, even if they come across like they don't. I can never say it, but I do love you. This card rarely pops up, so I really like when that card pops up. Um, and then, it's such a beautiful card, right? Maybe I should say it again. I never say it, but I do love you. So this person has a level of love for you. There is a deep connection here. Even though they might have been this like player kind of person, like you're different to them. You're just, you're just this different person. You're unlike someone that you've ever met. I have no words for your kindness and generosity. I think you've given them way more than they've given you, um, but they, they recognize that, that, you know, you're a special person is what I'm hearing. Like you're different than everyone else. You are so precious to me. Let's pull one more of these. I miss your sunshine in my life so much. So again, you, you're like the sun to them. Um, I'm gonna pull one more of these, my little quotes that I like. I need to make more of them, but let's see. What does our person for pile three want to say? What little quotes? <laughs> I think your face needs my kisses. So that's kind of cute, you know? They still like want to kiss you. They still want to be alone with you. They still want this connection with you. Um, sorry I'm super reading this as a disconnected relationship. So if you guys are in a relationship, they just, they want to kiss your face, you know, and they really do care. They really have this level of love for you. There is a soul level connection here. So, um, pile three, I really hope that helps. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me. It means the world to me and I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you in a future reading.